Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Watch: Trump takes Putin's side, throws American intelligence under the bus on 2016 elections. President Trump met with Vladimir Putin yesterday for a sit-down and press conference in Helsinki, Finland. Putin arrived 40 minutes late and then the one-on-one -on -one lasted two hours instead of 45 minutes. The two world leaders had a lot to catch up on. Diplomacy with Russia is necessary to prevent a world war. Personally, I would not have held the press conference afterward. That's when things went off the rails. First, some unhinged reporter named Sam Husseini from The Nation held up a sign saying nuclear weapons ban treaty and was unceremoniously removed from the conference. Then the other journalists started in. The last two one from the AP I believe, were the most hostile. Understand this, it would not matter what President Trump said at that point, they would have ripped him for it. Our intel networks, led by people who are anti-Trump, are a disgrace and they need to be gutted and undergo a full reboot with serious background checks and vetting. Their conniving duplicity is obvious. Look at Rosenstein indicting 12 Russians just before Trump was to meet with Putin and another female Russian operative being arrested here in the US for espionage. Timing is everything. The left is claiming that the NRA is in bed with the Russians, which is just preposterous. The FBI and the DOJ threw Trump under the bus before he was even elected thanks to Barack Obama and his clandestine attacks. President Trump returned the favor yesterday by throwing American intelligence agencies under the bus for what they did in the 2016 elections. He shocked the heck out of them by taking Putin's side. You can't blame Trump for wanting to know where the DNC server is and asking questions about the Pakistani IT guy who was, in my opinion, extorting Democrats in vulnerable positions of power thanks to Debbie Wasserman Schultz and her antics. From the very beginning with FISA warrants, spying on the Trump campaign and concocting fake Russian dossiers, the intel community has declared war on President Trump. I don't like how things went yesterday, but I can certainly understand why they did go that way. You've got the top three FBI agents, who conspired against a sitting president to conduct a coup, lying about Trump every time they open their mouths and no one does a thing about it. Perhaps if people did their job and there was real justice here, President Trump could more freely do his job and all this drama would end. The reporter from the AP was hostile and confrontational, to say the least. Putin is denying meddling in the 2016 election and Trump diplomatically had to give it a nod. I don't believe it for a second, but Trump has to walk a very fine line here. The AP reporter got Putin to deny the meddling and then the reporter told Trump that every American intelligence agency had said otherwise and asked Trump who he believed. How is he supposed to answer that exactly? Trump said he had faith in his hand-picked intel guys, but he sure doesn't have faith in those that have betrayed him. All Trump stated was that Putin denied the meddling. Did they seriously want him to start World War III on a world stage like that? Trump said, My people came to me, Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coats came to me, some others, they said they think it's Russia. I have President Putin. He just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. Words matter. Trump did not say it wasn't Putin here. People need to calm down and think this through. Trump also blamed past presidencies for the current state of affairs with Russia. Our relationship with Russia has never been worse thanks to many years of U.S. foolishness and stupidity and now, the rigged witch hunt. Again. Phrasing and that is actually true. Clinton, Bush, and Obama all saw our relationship with Russia deteriorate because they did not take a tough enough stance with them. Trump has slapped Russia with sanctions, rallied NATO against them, kicked out diplomats and has done a number of other things to put them in their place. Putin is a chess player, but so is Trump. Frankly, I want to see what happens next. I am certainly no fan of Russia and I don't trust them, but I think that President Trump has a plan here and I want to see what it is. Instead of playing into the left's trap. The right should take a deep breath and try and figure out what Trump was getting at here. I think he needs to clarify his stance on Russia and I would recommend not doing this kind of thing again. But I also believe that Trump really does want to calm things down and work with these countries. I am sure that before meeting with Putin, that President Trump met with Pompeo, Bolton, and Mattis. The calls of treason and impeachment are ludicrous here and are hysterical. Perhaps if American intel agencies stopped trying to destroy their own president, something like this would not happen. President Trump is the legitimate president of the United States. He was fairly elected and he has done tremendously good things since he took office. We should have a little faith that what he is doing here will help the U.S. and not hurt her. He's not treasonous and he's not a spy. I have never seen such disgraceful behavior from the left and the media in my life. I doubt that Trump trusts Putin, but at this point, 
he sure shouldn't trust the intel agencies either. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.